Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. I hope you're all doing really well. So in this video, I share lots of easy and delicious family meals that my family and I have been enjoying. I really hope you enjoy watching and find it useful. So the first meal is this yummy chicken in flatbreads. It's really quick and easy to prepare. So to a large mixing bowl, add the yogurt, the salt and spices, all the things that are on the screen and I'll try and put it in the description as well. Mix everything together and then add the chicken thigh pieces. And then you allow the chicken to marinate for about 30 minutes if you've got the time. If you don't, just transfer it to a pan on medium to high flame and cook it until the chicken has lost its pinky colour and the water that the chicken releases kind of thickens to a sauce. We bought these delicious flatbreads from Asda. I just heated them in the oven for a couple of minutes and served the chicken in the flatbreads with some salad and coleslaw. So before we move on to our next family meal, I wanted to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Sunrise Village. Sunrise Village is an exciting game that offers a captivating journey filled with exploration, farming and thrilling mysteries. I would love if you could support my channel by using my link to download Sunrise Village from the Play Store or App Store. If you'd prefer to play on your computer or laptop, sit tight because the browser launch is just around the corner. Picture this, a peaceful village surrounded by lush nature where you lend a helping hand to your dear grandpa on his farm. Plant crops, care for adorable animals and experience the joys of farming firsthand. Doesn't that sound like a dream? You can join your grandpa on a quest to uncover the secrets of the thorny bushes and the mysterious fog, embark on quests, meet unique characters and explore mysterious areas. You can befriend the villagers in Sunrise Village, each with their own workshop and story to share, partner up with them on your quests, level up your friendships and unlock unique animals, plots, greenhouses and buildings. In Sunrise Village, you can also team up with other players, even with me, once you reach level 10. Create or join a team, communicate and work together to complete missions and discover exciting loot areas and resources. So there's regular special events that you can join. You can dive into the thrilling Atlantis Maze event from July the 13th to August 3rd. Explore mysterious underwater worlds, uncover breathtaking treasures and compete against fellow adventurers. So you can download the game using my link and start creating your dream farm, unraveling mysteries and forging friendships. I can't wait to see you all in Sunrise Village. So back to our meals, next we have this delightful doner and chips. I have shared this a couple of times on this channel, but I'm not sure if I've made it with chips before. Usually I serve it with pita bread. So this is a firm favorite for the kids and I love how easy it is to make. So you just add all of the ingredients to a large mixing bowl. Give the mixture a good mix by hand. If you don't want to use your hand, you can use a spoon and then transfer the mixture to a food processor and just process it until it's all nicely minced together. Next, what you need to do is get some greaseproof paper or baking paper and lay it flat. And what you're gonna do is put the mince on top of one layer of the baking paper. And then lay another sheet of baking paper on top, which is the same size as the first one. 
and just roll out the mixture until it's a nice even layer. Next, I transferred it onto an oven rack and peeled off the top layer of baking paper. I had two layers of the mince mixture. So I popped it in the oven and allowed that to bake for about 10 minutes. And what really made the difference was this yogurt and mint sauce. And it's basically some low fat Greek yogurt and some mint sauce that you can just get from your supermarket. All I did then was take out the fake donna from the oven Gave it a good slice using a pizza cutter. And then put the donut on top of some chips, add some lovely salad, and then the yogurt minty sauce. And I added a bit of ketchup as well. A bit of chilli sauce would have gone down well as well, to be honest. So the next meal is just some plain old fish and chips. So I've got some white fish fillets and I just coated that in a batter, fried them, had it with some uh, chips and peas. I think I had some mash on that day, I can't really remember. So I'll just add everything again to a large mixing bowl. Mix it all together to make your fish batter. And then just add your fish pieces, coat them fully in the butter. And then I just deep fried them. I'm not sure about baking them. I don't know how they taste, but fried, they did taste pretty delightful. Mashallah. It's like I'm gonna be yeah, I had it with some mash. There you go topped with a little bit of grated cheddar. Next up we've got a lovely chicken niblet bilau recipe. So I've got some oil in a pan, some diced onions, cook them till they're a lovely brown and then add in some diced tomatoes and cook till soft. Then add in your garlic and ginger paste, salt, spices. Give that a mix and then add in your whole spices. And then you can just add in the chicken niblets. So I've got about a kg of chicken niblets there. Cook until the pinkiness is gone. So they're more white than pink. And then add some water. Bring that to the boil, cover with the lid and simmer for about 30 minutes. And then I've got some basmati rice, which has been soaked for at least 30 minutes, drained and rinsed. You know the drill. Add that to the pan, bring it to the boil and then simmer for 10 minutes. And there you've got a delightful chicken pilau, mashallah. Alongside that, I made this little um, curry. Not much of a curry, but let's call it a curry. So it's a 
mixed bean and potato curry so again you've got some oil diced onion couple of spices and salt and then i love these taco mixed beans from i think they were from Lidl or aldi not that sure but they're really tasty mashallah then just add in some potatoes cover with a bit of water bring that to the boil and then allow that to simmer for about 20 minutes just to give the potatoes a chance to cook it's rained a lot lately in case you didn't realize in case you don't live in the uk it's rained a lot a lot like loads but alhamdulillah for the rain next we've got this lovely chicken pasta recipe so again we've got some sunflower oil in a pan i added some onions or if you didn't know i've been freezing onions slicing them freezing them and it just makes life a lot easier so i just chuck them straight in the pan from the freezer and then cook till they're soft or brown and then added in some tomatoes some garlic and ginger paste then i've got some salt mixed herbs and paprika i recently learned that paprika is just red bell pepper dried up and turned into a powder and my mind was really blown by that i don't know what i thought paprika was but i definitely didn't picture it to be bell peppers either way i do like a bit of paprika in my cooking anyway back to the pasta so we're cooking our chicken And then you add in your passata. So we were going for a tomatoey chicken pasta. I like to add lemon juice to my cooking for that tanginess. Obviously, that's what lemon juice will usually do. Make it tangy and sour. Then I added in the cooked pasta and gave everything a mix. And I loved how saucy this <laughs> saucy mix. A chicken pasta was a bit of a saucy mix. I loved how saucy this pasta was. Next, I've got a really simple but tasty meal. And I think we made this for lunch actually. So I've got some fish fingers and I thought just to make it a little bit special, I'll turn it into a little bit of a curry. I don't know if you can call it a curry because there's not much sauce, but let's call it that anyway. So I've got a bit of oil in the pan, added some onion, tomatoes. And then I put the fish fingers in the oven, just cut them up into large chunks. And then to the pan you add garlic and ginger paste. salt some more paprika or dried bell pepper and just a bit of water for a bit more sauciness word of the day sauciness i guess <laughs> And once the sauce is ready, add it in your fish finger pieces. For a little bit of heat, I added a chopped finger chilli. And some lemon juice again. And that was actually really delicious with some toast. Almost there guys, I think we've only got two more meals to go. So next up we've got a gima and a potato curry, minced meat and potato curry. I'm sure I've shared this recipe plenty of times on this channel or something very similar. So I've got loads of mince in a pan, cook it till it's brown and it's released most of its water. And 
adding garlic and ginger paste, salt, spices. Give it a good old stir. And then I think we were out of fresh tomatoes, so I added a tin of chopped tomatoes. And in go the potatoes. And then just cover with some water. And then simmer for about 30 minutes and it looks really delightful, doesn't it, mashallah? Serve that up with some plain white boiled rice. And our final meal is this beef and potato curry. So I'd actually prepared a couple of pots of this pre-made curry base or tarka. I'll try and put a link for the recipe for this. I used to make it a lot more than I do now, but it is really useful to make a quick curry. So add that to a pan, chuck in your beef pieces, your potatoes. Cover with water, bring it to the boil and allow to cook for about 50 minutes an hour until the beef is lovely and soft and then you can garnish with some curry. And that we had with some rice as well. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope you found it useful. And thank you again to Sunrise Village for sponsoring this video. Jazakallah, thank you so much for watching. Inshallah, see you really soon. Take care. Salam. Bye.